7 things to expect at a Catholic wedding, and 5 simple guidelines to follow as a guest Catholic weddings are one of the most important days in any Catholic's life. And just like any other type of wedding, they can be a little overwhelming to the hosts, the planners, and the church, considering all the planning and preparation involved to see the ceremony through to success. In this video, we will cover 7 things to expect in a Catholic wedding, alongside 5 simple guidelines to follow as a guest, and how they can help simplify your experience. Number 1. The Processional A Catholic wedding is a beautiful and sacred event, which is precisely why the main ceremony is held inside the Catholic Church. And as you might have guessed, the wedding processional is one of the biggest moments of the entire ceremony, which marks the couple's entrance into the venue. During the processional, the officiant will walk down the aisle first, followed by the groom and his best man behind. They then take their positions at the altar, with the priest at the center. The bridesmaids and groomsmen will enter the church together and walk down the aisle in pairs, with the women and men on the left and right, respectively. Number 2. Guests may bring Catholic wedding gifts that honor the couple's faith. Gift-giving is inarguably among the most conspicuous activities in any wedding, let alone a Catholic wedding. Of course, there's a wide range of gift items that you can get for the couple, from household items to keepsakes and even money. If you're looking for something unique, helpful, and more thoughtful, why not consider getting the bride or groom a gift honoring their faith? Number 3. Blessing of the Couple As the official start to the marriage, the blessing of the couple is a very special moment for both the couple and the guests during a Catholic wedding. This is when the priest or deacon blesses the bride and groom with holy water and says a prayer for their union. Number 4. The Nuptial Mass The Nuptial Mass is the central part of a Catholic wedding ceremony, in which the couple exchanges marriage vows before God and their witnesses, the congregation. Number 5. Communion and the Eucharist the Catholic Church considers the Eucharist, or Communion, to be the most important of all the sacraments. The Eucharist is a sacred meal in which Catholics believe that Jesus Christ is truly present body, blood, soul, and divinity, under the appearance of bread and wine. Because of this, it is considered a holy event to receive Communion in some Catholic weddings. Number 6. The Recessional A recessional is basically the processional reverse, instead of walking down the aisle, the wedding party walks back up. The bride and groom usually lead the way, followed by the maid of honor and best man. Then come to the bridesmaids and groomsmen, followed by the couple's parents. Finally, everyone else exits the ceremony space at the instruction of the officiate. Number 7. The Reception After the church ceremony, the couple may decide to have a wedding reception in a separate venue. This could be public grounds, a resort, or a hall capable of accommodating more guests than could fit in the church or guests from different religions. Simple guidelines to follow as a guest at a Catholic wedding. As a guest at a Catholic wedding, you should follow a few simple guidelines to avoid any potential problems or awkwardness. Number 1. Attire. Most Catholic weddings do not have a strict dress code. A suit or a simple shirt and tie could do for a guy. For the ladies, you can pick something intelligent and casual from your wardrobe, say skirts and blouses, a fancy dress, or even some suit pants. Number 2. Conduct. It's good to remember that this is a religious ceremony and an event that demands respect and sanctity. This means no talking during the Mass, no phones or cameras out, and respect for any holy objects or symbols. Number 3. Are you invited? Like in most events held in the church, being a member may automatically gain you an invitation to a Catholic wedding. However, while no one will probably notice you or ask you for a pass when getting into the church, you might need a special invitation to gain entrance into a Catholic wedding reception venue. Number 4. Know where to sit. If you are not Catholic, it is also essential to be aware of the fact that you will likely be sitting in the back of the church. This is not meant to be disrespectful, but simply because guests who are not part of the faith are not able to take communion. Number 5. Patience Another thing to remember is that Catholic weddings are lengthy, often lasting over an hour. So make sure you're prepared for that before heading in. You'll probably have to free your entire day if you intend to stay up until the after party. Please subscribe to our channel Best for Bride for future updates and visit our website www.bestforbride.com